we go in, we have one other secret show, a secret stand-up set from our own resident comedian, Slow Mo. He has some jokes that he wants to entertain you with. So, how about a nice round of applause for Slow Mo? He's going to try to speak on it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I think that's probably the funniest joke that you'll hear all afternoon. That uh, we got resident comedian here for you. There couldn't be anything farther from the truth. But I will uh, try my best to uh, entertain. That's of course what we are here to do. Um, I know you're very disappointed. You came to see Shine Down, and you're gonna be listening to this crap for the next five minutes. But uh, life sucks sometimes, so get used to it. Um, Let's start off by talking about uh, sex. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was at the uh, Atlanta Braves game, and it's out, you know, in the fields around the stadium, uh, drinking some beers with some friends beforehand. And I went to uh, take a piss in one of the porta potties. And when I was in there, and I don't know why th I started thinking about this, maybe because my penis was in my hand or something, but uh, I wonder how many people in the world have ever had sex in a porta potty. I, I, you know, I, I don't know why I thought about that. It's just something that crossed my mind. Has anybody, anybody out here ever had sex in a porta potty before? Uh, any takers? Come on, come on. I know somebody's gone really hot and dirty and sweaty in a porta potty before. Well, anyways, I was telling my friends about this porta potty thing that you know I was wondering oh how many people banged in a porta potty before and this guy some 17 year old just some friend of mine brought him along he was kind of creepy but he told me that his uh, mother works for an airport and uh, she told him that a bunch of guys got arrested for masturbating in bathroom stalls and uh, I found that story to be really weird if you're masturbating in a bathroom behind a stall how the hell are people really going to know that you're masturbating? I mean, unless they have hidden cameras above the toilet or the police are, like, looking under the frickin' stall trying to get a good look in there, there's no way that anybody would see you masturbating. So I say, you know, give the finger to the police. You should be able to jerk off behind a stall. All you won't. Why is that any more illegal than taking a piss in public? There's no difference. <laughs> Um, speaking of sex, I don't know if you guys have heard, but I have uh, tremendously beautiful calves. Um, I'll spin around real quick and show them off for those of you in the front row. Those in the back, maybe you can get a grab on the way out. <laughs> you can see them there. Now, the thing with having beautiful calves as a man is, from what I gather, women are really not into guys with attractive legs, unfortunately. Um, the only people that ever talk to me about my legs, unfortunately, are other men. You know, oh, God, your calves, how'd you do that? Oh, God, I love your calves. All these comments from men all the time, and it sucks. I oftentimes think about all the sex I could be getting if women felt that way about calves, but they don't. Women don't like calves at all, so I'm just stuck with nothing. I'm a loser. I'm out of material for a minute, so I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to go to song, and uh, we'll be right back. This is uh, Maggie May. Wake up, Maggie! I think I got something to say to you! <laughs> September, and I really should be back at school! <laughs> All right, and we're back from the song. Uh, now uh, I'd like to talk to everybody about uh, about losing money. You go to strip clubs, you go to clubs. People just want all your money all the time. They want your money to park your freaking vehicle. You got to pay some dude in the bathroom to wash your hands. I don't make that much money. I never have. I don't have money to give to people to do things that I can do my freaking self. I can drive my car around a freaking corner and park it my goddamn self. I don't need your freaking help, so stop asking me. I don't want your help. I can park. And God damn it, you better have to believe it. I can freaking wash my damn hands. I know there's a lot of perverts in the world, a bunch of nasty people. They never wash their hands. They just go to the bathroom and get pissed all over their freaking skin and go around putting it all over people's faces all day. But I don't do that. I wash my hands. I know how to wash my hands. I don't need your help. I will steal all your candy in that little basket next to you and not give you any money for it. But I'm not going to pay you money to wash my hands. You know, you go to the strip club, it's like, Jesus Christ, you end up spending like $200 on things outside of strippers. It's like, yeah, I get it, the strippers are paying money for all these services and stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. You pay money for drinks, that makes sense. But to pay money because 
I don't, I don't even get the whole bartender thing. You know, people want money because, you know, they gave you one, you know, shot or something. I mean, I can understand holding over 50 cents for that, but you want like $5 for picking up a little lightweight glass? No, thank you. I don't have that much money and you're not going to get it, you a-holes. Um, yeah. Well, let's do another song. Uh, this is a love song. Um, <coughs> It's called, uh, Show Me That Smile. Show me that smile, uh, show me that smile. <laughs> Don't waste another minute on your crying. We're nowhere near thee, nowhere near. The best is ready to begin. As long as we got each other. We got the world spinning right in our hands Baby, you and me We gotta be The luckiest dreamers Who never quit dreaming As long as we got each other We got the world spinning right in our hands Oh baby, rain or shine All the time We got each other Sharing da da ba. I don't remember that damn lyric. <laughs> Let me tell you a story about that song. I was out at a Skid Row concert about a month ago, uh, doing the drunk take Woo! out there. Yeah, it was, it was a fun night. Lots of alcohol. A lot of hot women. Um, I, I dig milfs. I'll say that. But I thought that all the people in that audience were going to be like over 40, but there's some hot 18-year-old. Oh, I don't know. Maybe even 16-year-old babes running around that joint. But. Uh, I was singing the Growing Pains theme song with this girl out there, and she, like, sticks her hand, like, between my legs when we're, like, singing and, like, starts feeling me up and stuff, and it was pretty cool, you know I mean? I tried to remain professional and keep the interview going and stuff. Uh, so that particular night, I changed one of the lyrics of the uh, Growing Pains theme song to, uh, She's Got My Balls Spinning Right in Her Hands. <laughs>